Hey guys, so I wanted to vlog yesterday. I planned to vlog yesterday and then I got really tired because I watched this TV show and it made me cry so you know when you cry you will get tired I mean your eyes will get tired and then so I slept and decided to film it today but I woke up with a very bad cramp you know monthly things on uh, that will happen to a female body and I almost forgot I'm a female until today and so I had this really bad cramp it, in fact I'm still having it now like it's just a lot better because just now, the cramp is like horrible. I almost fainted, believe it or not, I almost fainted. And I felt like vomiting, it's really the, I wanted to say the best, the, the, how do you call it? The worst, yes, the worst cramp I ever had in my whole life. In case you're wondering what happened to my thumb, okay. So basically, I was in the toilet um, pooping, and uh, I was just using the uh, using my phone to go on Twitter. And so sometimes when I tweet, I'm actually sitting on the toilet. I'm not gonna lie, but I mean, we all, at least most of us, do it. I was inside, and my dad came home. Uh, by the way, I shared the toilet that's in my parents room so that's why I am in there okay my dad came home and he was like are you pooping? because he needs to bathe and um, I was like yeah so he said he asked me to not switch off the lights when I get out so I'm like okay then I just sat there and because it's a really bad cramp and sometimes we will feel better after pooping uh, at least for me so I try to poop and then um, I, I know this sounds kind of gross but it's what really happened and suddenly somebody just bang on the door the toilet door like like he's trying to how do you call it like mm, destroy the door I, I have no like he's trying to knock down the door. I got really frustrated so I was like Ugh, I'm just gonna go out and watch my show because my show started at 8 p.m. and at that time it's already 8 13 so I got up I mean it's like a habit even if you didn't shit or pee you will still flush if you sat on the toilet bowl so I flushed frustratedly and that's what happened. Actually, it's not really that like awful. Um, I didn't freak out when I broke my nail. In fact, I will show you if I can get this out. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I, I will just go to the camera and show you. Because you cannot see anything if it's like that. Hold on. I hope you can see the cut. That's what happens when you have long nails and never, never vent your anger on your nails because it's going to be a painful one and you're going to have a really hard time. If this is the first time I experience a broken nail, I would freak out because it's really painful. Um, I once had a broken nail on my toe. Two thirds of the nail is off, like just hanging there. What happened was kind of stupid but still kind of funny if I think about it now because back when my cousin and I, my female cousin and I were still very close, we loved to go to the karaoke to sing so this one day she called me up and to sing so we were really excited and she was there first with one of her friends I think and then um, I got there late oh I think she was with her mom and I I was like I was rushing because you know I prepared really slow it was at Bado family karaoke so the place the karaoke 
is above, that means you have to go up the stairs, open this, how do you call it, like the door thing, then you go in, go up the stairs, and then you can get into the real place. So, I am really excited, so I just opened the door like that, and it just hit me. Because, you know, last time, uh, at my age, around 12, I think, we girls love to wear slippers, not slippers, flip-flops. So, our toes are exposed, and you know I love to keep my nails long. That's why the door hit my toenail and it just rips off. At first, I, I just stopped there, you know, because I can feel the pain, but I just don't know what is going on. So, I looked down and I was like, oh my god, mom! Because my mom was beside me and she was like, oh my god, it, it was bleeding. And so I sat down at the, like, a step, you know, yeah, the step. I sat there and tried to calm myself down and, you know, just relax myself out. So I sat there for a while, my mom suggested me to just drop the idea of singing and go to the doctors. Although I sing really bad, but I just love singing, okay? And then, um, I insisted to just go out there and sing because I already told my cousin that I would be there. So, I went up and sang and sang and sang for a few hours. The next day, then I went to the doctors. <laughs> it's really funny because I went to the doctors the doctor tried to analyze my um, injury, so he's like, mm. it's almost off, like the toenail is just hanging there, only a little bit more and it will fall. So I was like, no, don't plug it, don't plug it, just leave it there, just leave it there. And he was like, okay, if you say so, so he wrapped it up like that, then I just learned from that and wrapped it up like that. Although I don't have the powder medicine anymore, but I just use a normal medicine cream. I mean, I think it will work well. It's not a big deal. At least not as painful as the toenail. So, yeah. I totally just made a video dedicated to my broken nail. I hope you guys enjoyed me, uh, enjoyed listening to me, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!